Greetings and welcome to another Pokemon 2019 or Pokemon Journeys anime video. In this video I want to talk about the latest special preview which was shown after episode 39. Now this special preview focuses mostly on the Darkest Day arc which the anime will cover in episodes 42 and 43. I already made a video that was pretty much dedicated to these two episodes. It would have been nice to make that video now so that I could include everything that was shown, but I did not know that there would be a special preview when I made that video, so nothing I can do there. The same video also goes over episodes 40 and 41, which the special preview shows briefly, and I made a video dedicated to episode 40 already. I will leave a link to both videos in the description below and at the end of the video. Since I have already talked a lot about episodes 40 to 43 in past videos, I want to focus only on new things the special preview showed in this video. Things I have not discussed before, so let's get to it. The first thing I want to point out is that Leon will be appearing in the Darkest Day arc, which is not surprising, considering that Leon does play a big role in the Darkest Day featured in the games. Leon is seen battling with his Charizard, and notably he does not have his cape on, which suggest that Leon is in serious battle mode. A Dragapult shows up later in the preview and it's seen in action. This Dragapult could belong to Leon considering that he does have one in the games and in Pokemon Twilight Wings. Leon has yet to use a Pokemon other than Charizard in the anime so I guess that the situation gets so dire that he ends up needing more firepower. This will be Dragapult's first appearance in the anime and I am looking forward to seeing it in action since it is one of my favorite Generation 8 Pokemon. Hopefully we get to see it use its Dreepy Missiles. Leon's Charizard is later seen battling Eternatus. A Gigantamax Meowth is shown and Team Rocket's Meowth is heard talking, saying that they will catch Pikachu during this segment, which of course means that Meowth will Gigantamax, which is cool. It will probably be an accidental Gigantamax like what happened to Pikachu in episode 13 since I doubt Team Rocket will get their hands on a Dynamax band. Now the destroyed walls behind Meowth remind me of the place where you battle Eternatus, so I wonder if Gigantamax Meowth will help battle Eternatus, or perhaps this is not the same location it reminds me of and it just looks similar. Though in the segment where Leon's Charizard battles Eternatus, you can see the same walls in the background, so I guess that Meowth does Gigantamax where you battle Eternatus. Go is shown with a Dynamax band and he is seen in the process of Dynamaxing a Pokemon. So Go will get the Dynamax's Pokemon, which I did not expect, though I didn't really consider the possibility that Go could also get a Dynamax band because he isn't really a dedicated battler, so I don't see why he would need one. This just gives Go more protagonist status. It's not revealed what Pokemon he will Dynamax, but a Flygon is shown in action, which I presume is Go's Flygon, so maybe he will Dynamax his Flygon? It's worth noting that the ancient mural which is in Stoan side is seen behind Go. This mural is of course relevant to the legend of Sassian and Samacenta. Since Go is seen with Sonya, it's safe to assume that she takes him there to explore the legend. Raihan appears in the preview, which confirms that he will indeed appear in this arc, which was to be expected, but it's nice to see him in action. In the preview, he protects Sonya from someone or something, and Raihan says you shouldn't bother beautiful women. <laughs> what a badass. Rose and Oliana show up, and Rose talks about his plan. Dynamax Pokemon are then seen rampaging all over Galar. Ash is seen flying on Dragonite, which is a scene straight out of a Pokemon movie. Ash's Dragonite will appear during the Darkest Day arc alongside Raihan and Leon. This explains the segment in the second opening where Ash, Go, Raihan, and Leon take pictures together. Ash's Dragonite also appears during these pictures. I knew that Raihan and Leon would return because of this segment in the opening and that Ash's Dragonite would be present but I never expected that it would be for the Darkest Day arc. Ash and Go are then seen in what is clearly the slumbering wield. They are seemingly looking for Sassian and Samacenta, whose altar then lights up and they rush forth ready to battle. Eternatus then appears near the end of the preview as Rose says that Eternatus is the messiah that will save the Galar region. The final segment of the special preview shows Mewtwo in a scene very much reminiscent of the first Pokemon movie, which honestly gave me goosebumps. Because of this poster, I knew that a Mewtwo would appear in the anime soon, but it's nice to get a small glimpse of it, and I am definitely looking forward to seeing what role this Mewtwo will play. 
Now, it is still unclear what the role will be, and it is unknown if this is the same Mewtwo from the movie, which also appeared in the anime. All I can say for sure is that Go will surely be interested in Mewtwo since it is a clone of Mew, the Pokemon that Go wants to catch. Since Mew also appears in this poster, I think it's safe to assume that the connection between Mewtwo and Mew will be explored. And that's the special preview. I was already excited for these upcoming episodes, but now I am looking forward to them a lot more. It seems that the Darkest Day arc will be amazing in the anime, though I am still worried that they will rush it so that it can fit into two episodes. Hopefully this is not the case so that we can get a truly epic arc. But that's the video. As always, leave your own thoughts down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and would like to see more like it, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I love Pokemon and I love making videos on both the anime and the games. Also, please consider clicking the links on screen so that you can check out more videos like this right away. Thank you very much for watching and let's meet again in the next video.